Retired gentleman from New York reserves, the gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to yield three minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Ms. Van Dyne. The gentlewoman from Texas is recognized for three minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to H.R. 5665. Bringing this, this bill to the floor is nothing more than empty theatrics from Democrats. Our nation has delivered more freedom, opportunity, and liberty to more people around the world than any nation in our history. We have served as the arsenal of democracy and the liberator of oppressed people because we are a good and just nation founded on fundamental God-given liberties, included among those as part of our very First Amendment is the freedom of speech. Our nation has lost precious treasure of our fellow countrymen to free people from the horrors of Islamic fundamentalism. We now look at what has happened to women in Afghanistan since Biden's disastrous and botched departure. Women are being stoned to death in the street for having the gall to be educated. Women are forced into marriages with bloodthirsty Taliban savages to serve as breeders for the next jihad. The fight against these kind of atrocities deserve plain spoken and hard truths be told. Instead, the other side would like to sterilize free speech and determine what words are allowed under their Orwellian tyranny. Our nation and the world deserve so much better than this ridiculous attempt to stifle free speech. There is tremendous evil in this world. Every day that evil is trying to infiltrate and undermine our exceptional nation. I will never shy away from calling out evil ideologies and I will never back down from speaking against them and how they are used to oppress women, children, and the vulnerable. We must stay committed to opposing heinous acts of violence directed at any religious group around the world, but the fact is the State Department is already doing this. This bill, this bill brought to the floor today is for one purpose only, to appease the hurt feelings of members who themselves have well-documented backgrounds of anti-American and anti-Semitic remarks. I rise against this bill just as I will rise against any attempts to weaken our rights, diminish our liberties, and distract this body from dealing with real issues to strengthen our nation and empower our people. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Texas.